All right, about to take a flow measure it, and I'm using the true flow grid, which you can see right there. I have it in the cardboard adapter to replace the filters because the filters are that big. I just drilled in the hole in the ductwork, and you can see where the magnet is holding in uh, the hose going in. You, can, you, know, you might even be able to see the little arrows that I have written down on the, for the correct uh, direction of flow. And then the unit is Bluetooth going, giving the reading right there. So there's my static, 0 0.107. And now I'm going to go to the other side to show you how easy this is. Let's get over there. Now I'll be setting up the hose, or not the hose, but the true flow grid on the next uh, screen, and it'll tell me to take out the filters and slip in my adapter plate with the measuring device on there. And let's go over to take measurement. Take measurement. I just hit the, it's taking many measurements within this fraction of time, multiple measurements, and there we go, we took the measurement. Now we'll hit continue. And now it says, leave in the pressure probe, probe, turn the air handler off, replace the filter with the true flow grid device. That's that device right there. And turn the air handler on high, cooling speed, real simple. It's not rocket science, anybody can do this. It's so much better than transversing with the fans or doing, doing a pitot tube transverse. All right, so I'm gonna cut this video off here. There'll be video two, and I'll supplement this in place of the filters up there.